Now we are going to see uh, estimate each of the following using general rule. Look at this question 1a 730 plus 998. So we are going to solve the problem. Let's start the class. First one 730 plus 998. See look at this number 730 plus 998. So you have to round off these two numbers. The first one 730 you know that. So this is 1s and 10s and 100. So look at this number. So first round off what 100s. You can also round off 100. Okay. So look at this number. Even though you want to round off 100, you have to consider the 10s and 1s. So this 10s uh, place 3 and what? And 1s place 0 that is called as 30. So it's less than 50. So what you are going to do? You have to round off nearest 10 is what? 7 you have to write as it is. The last two digit you have to what? You have to add one, what? Add zeros. Okay. Add do, two zeros. Add otherwise add otherwise you have to write two zeros. The last otherwise we can call it as last two which become zero. So it becomes 700. 700. So I have told you 730. So you have to round off nearest 100. 100 means you know that 100 means what is the number 1 and double zeros. So that means last two digit becomes 0. So that is what I have done it. The last two digit becomes 0. Because uh, even though you have to write the nearest to 100. But at the same time I have told you you have to consider the tens and ones. Tens place 3 and ones place 0. So this is becomes 30. So what are you going to do? 30 means I have told you 30 means is what? Less than what? Less than 50. So what are you going to do? You have to write 7 as it is and the last two digit becomes zero that answer is 700 so round off what 100 and then after that you have to add plus then again so ones tens and hundred so what is the number so um, round off nearest hundred you have to consider that what tens and ones digit that is 98 so 98 is greater than 50 so what you are going to do you have to add one with the what you have to add one with the hundred place so nine plus one so nine plus one this become ten so you have to write ten and the next that means next two digit otherwise we can call it the last two digit that's tens and ones place digit becomes zero so this is you know that very well nearest hundred mean last two digit become zero so the answer is what thousand so now we are going to add together 700 plus what thousand so thousand plus seven hundred what you can get thousand seven hundred even though if you want to check you can do that thousand plus seven hundred so you have to add together zero plus zero 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 plus zero 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 plus seven seven and one so the answer is one thousand seven hundred this is the right answer for the question okay now we are going to see the next question that is second question second question Second question, what is the number is? Second question, that is B question. So look at the B question. 26,292 minus, that is 21,496. Okay. So look at this number. So this is 26,292 and 21,496. So, so you have to uh, what you have to change the what is the general rule estimate each of the following using a general rule. So this is twenty six thousand two hundred and ninety. So what are you going to do? So ones tens hundred ones and tens and hundred and thousand and ten thousand. So what are you going to do? So uh, you have to you have already uh, learned what tens nearest ten nearest hundred and nearest thousand. So what are you going to do with so nearest thousand only you are going to do it. So, in, uh, but you have to round off nearest to 1000 means you have to consider the hundreds and tens and what ones. So, 292 you have to consider that means it's less than 500. So, what you're going to do nearest to 1000. So, 26,000 nearest to 1000 is 26,000. That means 292 that is 200 and that is 200 and what is this 292 is what less than 500. 
So what you're going to do? You have to round off the last three digit. It becomes zero. So nearest two thousand is twenty six thousand. After that, you have to put minus. Here also twenty one thousand. This is again ones and tens and thousand. Sorry, ones, tens, hundred. Sorry, hundred and thousand and what? Ten thousand. So twenty one thousand four hundred ninety six. Nearest thousand only you have learnt. So what is the number? One thousand four hundred ninety six. But you have to round off nearest thousand means not only you should consider the thousand, you have to consider the remaining digit also. So four hundred and ninety six hundreds and what hundreds, tens and ones. Four hundred ninety six. This is the last three digit. It is also less than five hundred. So what you are going to do? You have to what? You have to. Uh, you have to write last three digit become zero. So that then twenty one as it is, you have to write. So that especially this ones you have to write as it is because is greater than five hundred means. So you have to add one with the thousand place value. But it is less than five hundred. So that is what you have to write the last three digit become zero. That means I have told you nearest thousand means last three digit become zeros always. So the answer is twenty one thousand four hundred and ninety six. Nearest thousand means twenty one thousand. So now you have to, uh, sorry, you have done the estimation values. Now you are going to subtract twenty six thousand minus twenty one thousand. You are going to subtract. So twenty six thousand, twenty six thousand, twenty one thousand. Subtract. So zero, zero minus zero, zero, zero minus zero, zero again. And what? Six minus one, five. And two minus two. You know that. What zero again? So the answer is not necessary to write in front of the number zero. So the answer is what five thousand. This is the right answer for the second question. So first answer is what? First answer is thousand seven hundred. This is the right answer for the first question. So A question answer is seven hundred and thirty plus nine hundred and ninety eight. The estimation answer is first seven thirty is become seven hundred. This nine hundred ninety become thousand. So estimation answer is you must add these together. So the answer is thousand seven hundred. The next one is twenty six thousand two hundred and ninety two minus twenty one thousand four hundred and ninety six. So the estimation answer is twenty six thousand. And the next minus you have to write as it is. And the twenty one thousand four hundred and ninety six. This become what? So this becomes twenty one thousand. This is the estimation, estimation. Sorry, estimation answer again. So we have to subtract together. We can get this answer five thousand. So first question answer is thousand seven hundred. Second question answer is five thousand. This is the right answer for the question. I think so. You understand the concept well.